it's not reading quite as well as I'd hope it would. Let me do that. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Give me one of those. Perfect. Okay, that's what I like to see. And perhaps I can go ahead and do one of these. Turn myself down just a little bit. And then... quite ready to start but we're gonna get there we're gonna get there soon hopefully in an ideal world we will be starting soon Perfect. All right. I think we're going to be ready to start it here soon. How's everyone doing tonight? All right. Let's go to the live scene. Um, let me move my head. There we go. Pause the music. Go to this guy right here. Not looking bad. I'm hoping that the game's volume comes through pretty well, but if it doesn't, let me know. I do wish there was a way for me to monitor it. There's a slightly better volume, though. But, you know. Eh, you know, that, 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 that'll be fine. Hopefully the game's just not too loud. If it's too loud, let me know. We'll fix it. All right. So I have played this game before, just as a, just as a prefix, um, or prefix, prefix, yes. Huh. Ooh, we can just make a new slot. Perfect. That's exactly what I like to see here. Uh, and we will name this one the one that needs to be named. Oh, that's not how you spell my name. Uh, <laughs> ignore that. Ignore me. Ignore everything that I do. Just make sure that chat is working well. Perfect. I'm just gonna let this cutscene play out. Let you guys experience it.
so cool. So my relationship with this game is that my brother introduced it to me. He came across it one day, just sitting in the in, in the in the we in the uh in the Switch Market or whatever, the eShop. And he was like, this game looks hella cool. So he bought it for like, I don't know, 15 bucks. That, that's that's our introduction to the whole game just just right there it's so amazing it's so pretty it's so cool and the entire game looks like this like just, just, just look at this look at this right here do you see how pretty this is look at all these graphics you got like lightning in the background it looks super nice and in fact I'm gonna go ahead and do something real quick um, I adjusted the brightness setting because I thought it looked good but I don't think it looks good as bright as it is. So we're gonna put it back to what it should be. Just about. Yeah. Look at that. Look how pretty this game is. Over here bleeding out. Go around, you hit buttons, and it's like, oh, I see, I can hit buttons. And then hit X to so get Kill yourself. Also, so I have played this game before, so I'm a little bit familiar with um, the controls, I'm familiar with things like that. I might suck at it again, who knows? It's, it's gonna have a learning curve for sure. But you know, we're gonna get there. Also, this game has some very dynamic music to it, is the way I'd phrase it. There's a lot of, um, it's got so many, like, things to it in terms of, like, just volume-wise. Press X to ping the HUD, of course. It can be a loud game, but it doesn't have to be. Of course, you find this dead body, you take his item, and you get the gun. And now the gun, it's you do all sorts of things. You know, you can aim, you can shoot. Which I, I love, I love controls like this, where you can aim with one button, fire with the other. Oh! Destroy objects and charge a gun. So you, so you got a resource manager here. Also, so the aiming is very precise. Uh, let's see if we can heal up. Because this guy will kill a nerf too. Come over here. Huh. Look at this. Some sort of weird robot thing. Also, this game has so many secrets in it. To the point where, like, I'm almost inclined not to even, um, 100% it. Because the secrets are just ridiculous to find. Nothing in this game is easy. And maybe the game is just a wee bit too loud. Maybe. Uh, I wish I could turn up my volume a little bit more. That's okay. Come up here, it's all peaceful. Birds. Got this whole area down here. Come out to this ledge. And the music does that. And it's like. Oh my god. Sit here and look out at the edge. You can, you can hold off to the edge and just fall to your death, you know. Do whatever you want. 
again, the sound design and like the uh, the sound design fits in perfectly with the game, like with the way the game plays. In terms of like, you hit a certain point and the music just starts. shit like that it's just like oh oh it's so good i love it i love it so much this is a perfect game not really i mean you know it's got flaws but like it is near perfect game this traveler finds us on the side of the road passed out he takes us under his wing and the next thing you know the next thing you know there we go you wake up in a house there's our savior, sitting there. He stands up, and he walks away. And now it's just us, here in bed, waking up. Turn on the lights. Oh wait, we picked up a map. So that's the, he's like, okay, he was looking at a map. That's what he was doing. And now we can go ahead and get a whole idea of the landscape here. It's like, look at all this stuff. There's so much stuff. So much stuff. Look at that. So much area to cover. Come over here. Take a look at ourselves in here. Look pretty good. Um, we can turn on the lights or off the lights. Turn off and on the lights. So this happens, and we're like, okay. So so thingies triangles, right? Yeah, thingies triangles. Nothing for us to really do so far, you know. We're just, we're just we're just going. We're going places. Got this nice little panel. Heals us. Okay, good to know. That's a little point. Anyway, obviously I've played this game before. Um, no need to overly talk about it. But like, again, I just oh god, look at it. It's so pretty. All done in this like nice 2D style. Walk around here. Can make noises to the pass like the, the passerby. You just make noises. You don't actually talk to them. It's like, oh I want to talk to you. That's what that's what happens. It's just the way the game is. And so this is this is kind of the point where the game gets a little bit bizarre in terms of like things. So this game is heavily, heavily, heavily rewards exploration. Almost to a like like okay, you come down here, right? And you're like, oh, here's a help. Just like sitting down here in the bottom of the map. You go over here and you're like, huh, that that that, 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 that thing looks interesting. So you dash over to it, you slash it, you pick it up. And it's just like things like this are all over the place. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this. There we go. Maybe that's not the way I was supposed to do that. Who knows? It was a way I could have done it, and I did it that way. diagram things, right, as a kid, or at least I would. When I played games like these, I was like, oh, I don't want to, like, forget about X thing. I, like, need to know where X thing is. And so I'd, like, you know, 
as a kid, make diagrams and maps and all this cool stuff that, you know, you, you had the time to do as a kid. And since I was just stuck at home, completely, like, couldn't do anything at all, I wonder if I have the book around here somewhere. I don't know if I do. But eventually, I will show you the book where I started diagramming map locations of, like, every, like, hidden object I could find. Just to kind of, like, create a, like, a, a uh, how do you describe it? A sort of a compilation of everything that I had found in this game so far. Just that way I could know where it was, see if I've been there before, for the, for the day when I got the time to 100% this game. Alright. We have made it. On to the next area. Hopefully I got all the treasure out of there. That, that's the ideal. Yeah, you go and you explore and you pick up everything that you need to along the way. See, like, you know, you could have you could have walked past that. You could have missed that. And then you get over here and you're like, well, I can't do anything over here. So you gotta go back. And hope that, you know, at some point you figure out something that you can do over there. Actually, you know what? This is not the first area I want to be at. Uh, just to, just to, I think... It just occurred to me, and I just remembered, that there is something very, very, very incredibly handy that we want to pick up somewhere earlier on. So that's what we're going to actually do first. Sorry. Not, not to ruin the fun, but, you know. I'm trying to avoid backtracking as much as possible. And since I have played this game before, I have my methods of avoiding backtracking as much as possible. But, you know, I always start off in this direction. So, that, that, that's partially the reason why I wanted to avoid it. But, I think it'll be far more worth it in the end just to do what I've been doing. All right. Of course, more treasure over here. Don't mind if I do. All right, we got one credit. That's what we're gonna call these things. Anything kind of like weird and futuristic, like futuristically and like, I always consider like credits, that, that's what they are. I don't know what game put this into my head, but I guarantee it was a video game. Looks like an area I can go to. And I want to go there. Ah. Is this the way? Oh, that totally looks like the way. Mm. I'm sure we'll figure something out over there. Thankfully, the game does give you hints. Okay, so you see the okay, you see this tiny little tile right here. You can actually scan it, and it will let you see a invisible platform that leads you to somewhere. So these are these are very very important to uh, getting around. And it's just this one tiny little square thing right there that, that indicates there's like secrets all over the map. It, they're literally all over the place. It might be kind of the worst. But at least they give you an indicator, you know? I, I, I thank them for at least providing that much for me. It's better than no indicator. I'll pick that guy up. Right, there doesn't appear to be anything chilling over here. Yo, Tim! Welcome! I'm, I'm over here playing this really cool game. Not, mu not too much is up. I'm finally... So, so I went climbing today, and I'm finally starting to get V3s again. I'm super happy about it. I got... I, I've now succeeded in getting two V3s at the gym. Which is all I can ask for. One day I'll get them all. This game looks really beautiful. It is! I really want Lane to see it, because uh, Lane has been getting into pixel art and stuff like that. And, like, this is, like... This is it. This is the peak of like really, really good looking uh, 
really good pixel art stuff. <clears throat> Keep on climbing that shit? I'm trying. I'm getting closer every day to finishing another V3. Always the goal. Just to climb further. I'm actually hoping sometime in the spring I'll be able to take a trip and like go actual mountain climbing on real mountains. I got one of my coworkers invested in rock climbing recently and they've been they've been my belay partner for a while. He did one super easy V4 and then like now nah, I can only do a few V3s. See, that was my exact relationship too. Um a little secret. Ooh, there's a whole tile right here. I don't know, but this is just how climbing be. That's exactly how it is. I remember, like, I'm still cheesing most of my routes, I feel like. Like, the one I did today, one of the V3s, I just reached, and I was able to, like, span a gap with my, like, 6-2 arm span or whatever. And it was like, okay, that's, that's, you know... I'm sure if I wasn't 6'2", I could, like, still probably manage it, but being 6'2 definitely helped. <laughs> Alright, so, so this is like, okay, in terms of story for this game, this is like how it's told. You just see, like, these images, and, like, that, that's these, like, creature. There. That, there's a creature, and that's all you know. Talk to me again. That, that, that's what you know. Look at that. You see that? That's that's all we know about this particular area. I just know I gotta get triangles and uh, <laughs> triangles, and there's a there's a thingy up there, like a, a, a scary creature looking dude. So there's a secret over right here. There we go. Oh, credit. I mean, what more do you need to know? Exactly. I love. Okay, that that's part of the reason why I love this game so much. Minimalist storytelling. And like, as you can see, as I approach this area, I'm starting to bleed. I'm like, ugh, coughing. I'm dying. Oh. Joy-Cons being the worst. People talk about Joy-Cons being like the worst controllers in existence. And I think they're right. These things blow. <laughs> well. They're fun, but they blow. Worse than the N64 Octopus? Yes. Actually, I love N64 controllers. I might be one of the few, but I, I do actually really appreciate those controllers. Alright, this is the only reason why I wanted to avoid this area. Because you need, like, eight keys. And we ain't got eight keys. That's what you want. Alright. Of course, this, this little guy doesn't do anything for us. <laughs> that shit destroyed my tiny hands. Yeah, no, I think it's much better as you get older. I will say it's unfortunate. We did, like, okay. I have, there's, there's, a, there's a special place in my heart for bird creatures. Bird humanoids. So, you know, when I, when I see them and I'm just, like, doing this shit to them, I feel really bad. Too bad I still have small ass hands. I always forget that you have like tiny hands. Mine are pretty normal size. I just got like tiny ass wrists. <laughs> and it's a struggle learning guitar. See, I don't know. All of my, like so many of my friends who, who play guitar also have tiny hands. So I feel like, I don't know. My issue is, like, my fingers feel like they don't fit in between the strings well enough to like, actually do anything with the guitar. I actually wish I had smaller hands for a guitar, but, you know. I also don't really play it that often. I'm sure it's a pain, though, like, you gotta stretch out your hand real far if you want to do certain chords or whatever. Come down here. Okay, we can't quite go this way yet. This is... This is this is a new secret that we got to come back to. So I'm not going to worry about it. But we're going to come back to it. So, okay, so, so, just another thing about the game. As you approach locations like this, they paint a landscape for you. 
you know, you can see this giant creature hugging the side of the mountain, right? And like the music just immediately explodes as you as you look out upon this landscape with the thing. Oh, I didn't know it's so good. Like all of my finger favorite finger style players have these enormous ass strong ass hands. My brother has enormous strong ass hands and he's a kick ass guitarist. And he learned from my dad who was trained classically, so he also like, you know, finger style for sure. But yeah, so you see that giant thing in the background, right? Just just wait. I, I'm going to show you something cool. It's going to blow your mind. Ah. Your dad trained classically? Wild. Yeah, no, he actually, um, he learned from a pretty well-known guitarist back up in uh, Michigan. And he originally went to college for guitar. However, um, he stopped after a little while. Because, uh, I think he and the, uh, the class, I think, oh, come on, okay, nothing over there, nothing to be gained, um, but yeah, he eventually stopped just because I think he and the other guy didn't get along, I can't remember the details of it, probably the deal, um, and then of course more secrets, secrets, yes, secrets. Um, okay, there's a crate here. Pick that up. Got this altar. So, so like, okay, like again, here's like another moment where you're just like walking it through this area, right? And there's just an altar with light on it. You have no idea what this means. Like, it's just there, and you, you know, part of your mind might go, "Oh, it's just for decoration, right?" I mean, it might be. Who knows? Also, I remember this secret tale. It took me forever to find. It was the worst. So, you know. Glad we can find stuff like that. And then you get up here and you talk to this guy and he's like... Painting you a picture of what's what's going on here. Got the birds. Got the eggs. Looks like there's a fire in the eggs. And they burned down everything and he ran away with like his one precious egg. And then that's what we know about the civilization. It's like if you actually found an ancient Reuben, you would know so little of what to do. Exactly! I, I think that's part of the reason why this game is just so good with its storytelling. You gotta talk to, like, the locals to figure out what happened. And see what's, what, 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 what's going on with this area. Because they know better than you do. And of course, you could just ignore it all. You could just be like, eh, I don't really care all that much. You know, I didn't have to go over there and talk to him. I got things because I went over there and talked to him, but only because I was looking for things. Also, for whatever reason, I don't know the significance of the dog. Which is why it plays that spooky, mysterious music. You, you, you're not supposed to know the significance of the dog. The whole intro is just, like, kind of insane. And you find your, your, your savior, the guy who saved you, and you just talk to him. And he's like, yo, what's up? And he's like, check it out, there's these things. I'm here to collect the things by fighting other things. Creatures. Yeah. But no, it's such a pretty and amazing game. Truly, truly one of my favorites amongst games I've played. I've got another game that's actually kind of similar to this, except it's a little bit more, uh, it's, it's in the same vein. I don't know if it's the same developer. It very well could be. But it's another one of these kind of pretty pixel arty style games that do a whole thing. Alright, we can go this way. We got secrets. Picking up secrets. Got a nice little currency. Another credit, if you will. And then, of course, we got invisible platforms. More secrets. This area, this area took me forever to find. And the only thing that you really have to help you with this kind of stuff is you do in fact have like your map. Your map will like show you things. All right, that's our first triangle. So like, you know, you, you see this map, right? And it shows you certain things. So it gives you a general idea of where things are hiding, but it's not a very descriptive map. Like 
you just kind of, you, you, like, you got this area. Uh, how do I open up? Is it ZR? Yeah. So it just kind of shows you all, like, you know, there, there, there's a square here. And it's like, well, what kind of platforming is that? Like, I don't know what that is. I just know I got to make this character model go over there. And then you got this whole thing, which is also a wreck. Like, it, it's just... The map isn't supposed to be handy. It's just... Well, it's supposed to be a little handy. But just, just handy enough. Oh, yeah, that's right. I thought I just walked off the edge. Nah, invisible platforms. How have I been doing, son? I've been doing alright. I mean, you know. The usual. No, nothing new has changed in my life. I'm still, like, trying to find another job. Because, you know, my current job is eh. Really eh. I'd rather have a job where I can have fun. I'm currently looking into, like working at this bakery if possible and becoming one of their overnight bakers but we'll see how, how that green turns out i have a friend that works there and he's willing to like be like hey you should hire this guy but every time i like put in my application and like i go check out the store nobody knows what's really going on which is a bad sign you know if, if every employee is there and they're like eh, i don't really know for hiring people right now or like that, that generally isn't a good thing from experience. How about no? I don't want what you're selling. Ah. God, I keep trying to shield with uh, my elbow. But that's not how this game works. That, that's, that, that, that's melee and like every other fighting game I've ever played. Oh, that sounds potentially promising. Yeah, exactly. Very potential. Oh. That, that's a good time to heal. One HP, please. Alright, we got our first key. There's only 16 of them. There might be... It, I don't think they're evenly spread out. That's the worst part. You know, you... you uh... How does combat in this game feel? It looks hectic. It can be. Yes, it, it can be very hectic. But for the most part, it's pretty smooth. I can't complain about the combat at all. At all. Is it like any other game? Hmm. I'm sure it is. I just can't think of what game it would be like. That was another... Mm. I mean, it's definitely like a beat-em-up. So, like, for instance, you have a weapon, right? You got your sword. You learn other abilities as you, like, you can buy more abilities for yourself. That's part of the way the game works. And then you also have this gun, which you can fire, you know, aim. You can also just fire it while walking, you know, whatever direction you're facing. So it gives you like, and then you get more weapons throughout the game as you play. So, so that's like, it, I describe it as a beat em up because enemies are relatively weak, but they can do kind of mad damage to you if you're not careful. So, you know, it's. It's unique, but it's very satisfying. When you're just going through enemies. And it's not like one of those games where you're like sitting around waiting for an enemy to make a move so that way you can make a move. Like, enemies are gonna attack. This guy, he has 6 HP. I gotta dash away from him because I can't take him out before he throws out some crazy ass attack. There we go. Looking all cool and shit. But yeah. 
like, I don't know. I think about um, a lot of other people who I respect when it comes to, like, their way of game design. And one of the biggest complaints... So, for instance, Ocarina of Time, right? It's, like, one of the best games considered, you know, from Zelda or whatever. However, every single enemy fights the exact same way, which in... It's a fight where the enemy swings and then you wait for them to become vulnerable and then you attack them, right? But fuck the water temple. Yes, no, absolutely, I agree. But again, it's one of those games where, again, you, you, when it comes to combat, you just kind of wait for the enemy to do the thing that makes them vulnerable and then you hit them after they did the thing that makes them vulnerable or whatever. There's no such thing as, like, intricate combat. Except for, and there's one exception to this rule, the Black Knight, who has this armor to him where you can hit him, but he's going to keep on attacking through your attack, which is what every enemy in this game is designed like. But with that fight, you control the... Like, you're not waiting for the enemy to just do its thing and then attack it. No, in, in that game, when you, when you fight that one enemy, you, you have to... You get to pace it. You can run in all gung-ho and swing as much as you like. However, the, if you get punished, it's going to be bad, so you better, like, play it in a way that works. And this game is very much in the same vein as that where combat is just that like in Majora's Mask there's some diving stealth sections and it's not a very stealth game yeah I know stuff like that is eh but no this game was really built for the combat because it's, it's, it's a it's a game where you go around you beat up a bunch of bad guys and then you fight a boss at the end it, like if you don't have fun combat in a game like this, I mean, you know, it could be beautiful and look amazing, but it could also just, like, kind of suck. Because, you know... It just doesn't work. Also, so this is the area where we started. Um, fun fact. I have a reason for coming back here, don't worry. Um... Sadly, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin the surprise just head on. But like, you're able to come back here. Check it out. You find the right secrets. And so the first time you come over here, you you pass out. But once you come back the second time, you can go in even further and learn new things about the area. There's nothing over here to learn. This now. We're just gonna we're just gonna dash through this whole section. Again. I should probably pick up one of these. I am down to have a health pack. This guy. This door. Come on. Just fire straight, game. Ah, don't delete my own platforms. Please. Also say that healing in this game can be very 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 punishing because if you don't actually commit all the way with the heal you drop the heal which in short means like you know if i heal too soon or too late or whatever that's it i don't get to heal anymore um god that looks like a secret but you know who knows all right we come back here this is a whole moment earlier where the music got all big and stuff. And now we're back. We're back. We're back for through uh, nice peaceful meadows and whatnot. All right, and this is the area that we couldn't reach to. We passed out before we got here. And as you can see, there's this warp pad. There's this whole thing, which we're gonna go ahead and not be able to scan, of course. And then there's this whole thing. Let's pick up this guy's key. Because God knows we need those. Um, grab the treasure. Hopefully get more credits. Do a wee bit of exploration. See what's going on in here. This guy. Man. Awesome. Take it back here. Should can we talk to this guy? 
No, not really. Okay, cool. So this gives us a warp back to that area from the from the from the initial point. That's awesome. That's that's exactly what I wanted. And gave us another fourth of a credit. Exactly, exactly what I needed. Alright. Alright, so with all this money that we have now, we can go ahead and buy an upgrade. This is probably my favorite. Or one of the most handy in the game. So this whole dashing thing that I've been doing. The, what this allows me to do now is rather than just dashing once, like this, I can now chain together my dashes. Which also, this game, okay, this particular section of the game blows. There's a particular reward that you get from dashing in here, or chaining enough dashes together. Which, you know, there we go, we got one of them. The second one requires you to do this 800 times in succession. And the room is designed in a way where you constantly have to concentrate on not hitting walls, you gotta manually hit the B button, you can't just hold it down, so it's a timing thing. on top of just not trying to crash into stuff. And I think my record is somewhere close to 400. We're only gonna attempt this once. And if I get it, I will I will pop off. Because it is something worthy of popping off about. Why would they ever do this? Because they're horrible, horrible people. I can't imagine doing this without a joystick either. Without a joystick, this would be horrendous. I mean, maybe there's like a very, very specific button combination that you can use that'd make it better, but like, I don't know. Also, I cannot imagine, like, okay, so, so, there's a bunch of collectibles. Oh, that's it. Okay, 445, that, that's upsetting. One day, I'll spend a whole stream just grinding for that. I can feel it. Because, <clears throat> like, there's a, there's a whole thing right there. Like, I just want to get this guy. Come on. <laughs> like, look at that. I want that. But anyway, I think I think it's 700. I think you got to get to 700. Which we're not going to do that tonight. I think we should spend at least one stream attempting it per stream. Like, and we'll call it there. Oh, interesting. He's got a whole story about him and this dude. And how his friend died and he was saved by the by the purple knight. Oh no, no, his friend didn't die, he just passed out. Okay, cool. Ah, got this guy. So this guy's willing to teach us like brand new abilities. A lot of them are super handy. Like that one is that that's probably the one I'll get next. Any ability that like gives you better self-defense is amazing. And of course, this one does other things where it lets you get shields and has this whole dash pierce thing, which I absolutely love too. Anyway, this is why we're collecting all the credits, in case you were curious. Just because because of all that. Oh, come on, where's my... Oh, wait. Nah, there we go. Alright, we'll go back up to here and continue collecting things. But yeah, no. I will say, like, okay, the dashing thing, that thing drives me crazy. I cannot, I, I'm so upset that I've never been able to get it. Also, now's a good time to start pouring myself some tea, because, you know, tea is good. <clears throat> I'm sure you can, uh, you can agree with me on that one, too. This whole thing towards me over here. Although I think there was another secret down here that I didn't quite finish collecting. So that's 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 the next thing I want to do is did I come over here? I don't remember. <laughs> One sec. Okay. Oh look, look! You remember that giant that we saw earlier clinging to the side of the mountain? There he is. By the way, we saw all of these um 
Like, we, we, these, these giants are part of the beginning cutscene, but we have no idea what it means. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. This game is very much set up in the same way I control uh, into the gungeon. I very actually, I think I very much specifically changed my controls when playing into the dungeon to fit this game. I was like, okay, this is the way I like aiming. You know, it's just the way I like to play my video games. Another secret over here. A neat little work panel. Thank you. Ooh, it's got a whole thing. That whole triangle right there. Collect a nice, uh, collect another little Dorito. Add it to my collection. Yeah, there we go. Like, there's a secret around here. I know there is. There's no way you, you, you create a giant room like this and don't put a secret in it. No, but it does have like this whole like underground labyrinth exploration section to the game, which you know basically doubles the map, which I'm a fan of. Anything that's just like, hey, let's put in more enemies and like more areas where you can fight stuff and like more movement and like you know, you're guaranteed a good time. Oh, that's a lot of birds. I should heal. Especially since all these guys do two damage. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't you love that when you're playing a game and you're like, I swear there has to be something else around here. There's no way that this is just it, but maybe it is. Although if I come back here and like, if we, if we hit the end of the game and I'm still looking for secrets and we come back there and there's a secret there, 100% calling it. Especially a game that encourages it. Yeah. This game is all about exploration and mind and all that good stuff. God. My first time playing this game, this room was the worst. It is just full of these enemies that do two hits of damage that slide all over the place. Careful, you're just gonna kind of die instantly. It's a long section, it's not like this tiny little, like, oh, thank you, <laughs> totally killed himself. Ouch! Oh, they introduced this enemy, Jesus. 
No! Couldn't dash through him. this again. Part two. Electric Boogaloo. They're going down. Go pick up this health kit right here. Oh, we wait for you know this light bulb to be created. This little door, go over here, open this thing, get another Dorito, because you deserve it. Pour another cup of tea, because I deserve it. So after you get four Doritos, that happens. Just, 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 just as a fun fact, you, you have a nice little flashback, a little PTSD right there. Again, such a pretty game. I love the way it tells its story. No text, it just, it just does it. we go. Alright, there was another little thing in this direction that we didn't go down. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Was it this guy? Yeah, I don't think we used this warp pad, did we? Yeah, this is it. This is the other little basement section that we've been missing. like totally in the mood to just go out and buy as many snacks as I can. Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its are especially bad for whatever reason. I just- oh! Okay. Thank you, game. I just really want some Cheez-Its. Always. Alright, so now we know there's traps. I will say that the thankfully this game is just super bad about punishing you. When it comes to like you died. It doesn't have a life system or anything like that. Nothing as archaic. 
Just like, well, you died. We're gonna send you back just a little bit. <laughs> rip. Yes, indeed. That that was a big rip moment right there. I got torn up faster than a sheet of paper. We got a nice little secret here. Take this guy down to here. Most of the time, you have pretty good IV frames, but that, that was not one of those situations. As soon as it wore off, I was already back up and getting hit. Just, just very unfortunate right there. This room feels like there should be something more than just money in it. Like there should be a second money in it. But, you know, I'm probably wrong. Let's hope I'm wrong. Lately, I've developed this superpower that I've had at work where I can tell what a customer is going to order, right? But only after they've committed to telling me what it is that they want. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. And it's easily, like, one of the worst superpowers of all time. Because it's like... I can't choose what it is like I want to make for them. It's just like, oh, it's too late. You're already, you're already committed to like taking this guy's order. It's like, but I don't want to make it. So it's like, well, before they even ordered it, you could tell that that's what they were craving. And now you're, you, you've already committed to making it. You know when people talk about like worthless superpowers? God, that room felt like there was something up in there. I got okay. We're gonna go back up and double check. This room has to have something in it. Come on. You can't just fill it full of enemies and turrets and not have some sort of secret around here. That's not allowed. Maybe it is allowed. <laughs> Riley. That is not a tower. <laughs> is it not? certainly feels like a power. Also, I've come to, like, this point where it's like, if I recognize somebody, it's not gonna be a good time. Like, period. Like, today, there was this, there was this lady who came in, right? And she was, I, I, I immediately recognized her for some reason. Like a customer or a friend? No, 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 Like a customer. There was this lady who came in and I recognized her for whatever reason. I was like, why do I know you? And as soon as she walked up to me, she was like, I would like gold mine. Ice cream. I'm like, I know this lady. I'm like, now I know why I know her. This lady and like, this lady came in once and just ordered every pint of one particular ice cream that we had left in the whole thing. I was like, that's why I know her. And then, you know, by the time I recognized, realized this, I recognized who she was. It was too late. She had already asked me. So I spent like literally 20 minutes just packing pints of ice cream by hand. It was not a good time. Which, by the way, we, we don't sell our pints for, like, like it, it's not cheap to buy nine pints of ice cream at our store. It's ridiculous. Like, nine pints of ice cream, that's, that's like, n almost $100 worth of ice cream when you get it from us. Which is ridiculous. That's way too much. Okay, sorry. I looked down, and then I kept holding up. Must be an event. Actually, no. She told me this herself, which is... It's the only ice cream that her husband likes. Period. 
So she just buys him, you know, nine pints of this ice cream. Ah! Okay. That was... Just, just, it was, it was a ridiculous amount of ice cream, though. And apparently he eats a whole pint every day. And, okay. How long does it take before they need to restock? Well, you know, if you buy nine pints of ice cream, it lasts nine days, I guess. That, that's the math that we're going by right now. Oh, okay. This room is not fun. One could say this room is the opposite of fun. Tedious platforming with insta-kill blocks. Oh my god, just get out of there. Thank you. Alright, let's not die in this room immediately. Or the next room. in here. We're gonna keep going. This looks like a secret, but I don't know if we can get it yet. I just don't know where all the secrets are. But yeah, no, it really is just like a ridiculous thing. This is okay, okay, okay. Oh, I just got attacked by the birds. There's so many birds. of ice cream a day is a lot of ice cream. Not to say I'm judging her or anything, but I'm definitely kind of judging. Just a little bit. Like, you know, people, yeah, people do you, but, uh... $100? Really? I, <laughs> I guess we've got the money. I don't know. I couldn't spend $100 on ice cream if I wanted to. That, that, I think that's the moral of the story here, for me. I personally just could not do it. Alright, I think we got one more pathway here to check out. Is that a secret? No. Okay. What a thing to spend $100 on. Like... <laughs> like a lot of milk and sugar. Also, I don't know why. People keep on coming into the store and they're like... They, they talk about how our ice cream is homemade. Fun fact, it is definitely not homemade. That's like a week plus worth of food. Thank you! I spend like... Okay, for me to eat on my own, if I'm like eating cheap, I can spend $30 on a week of food. If I have to, but that's like basically beans and rice, you know, or fried rice. Like I make a giant pot of rice and then I turn it into rice, white rice, fried rice. And like, you know, you know, I guess I eat beans or whatever. That's like a week's worth of food on $30. Maybe, maybe, maybe a bit more than a week's worth if I'm eating just rice and beans, but you know, $100, that's like enough to feed so many people. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Ow! Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, oh god, I really need that pack. Alright, we got 
got some secrets over here. Yeah, dude, vegetarian and vegan food is mostly cheap. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I know. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I got caught on a pillar. I should have kept my distance. No. Here's the thing, right? I eat a lot of food. Like, when I eat, I eat. I go to town on food. You made tofu last week? And it was really fun? Really? Like, like homemade tofu, not just like you didn't cook the cream, it, you, you, you made it by hand. Or through, through whatever method that you use for tofu. Doing better already. A bit. Oh. oh, he took out his own bird. Okay, that's much better. Use mold and some calcium salts. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds like what tofu is. It's delicious, but you know. If I described tofu, that would be it. It's like a cheese, but like not 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 cheesy. That's how I would describe tofu. Alright, and there's definitely something. There's a there's a way to get over that side of the map, I think. <laughs> what bowl? <Lol. laughs> you heard me. Okay, that was upsetting. I really didn't want to get hit by that guy twice. Cheese, but not cheese. Yes, I mean, I guess everything could be described as an object, but not the object. Although I do realize that comparing it to cheese is kind of defeating the purpose of it being, you know, vegan. A solution to get over there quite yet. Definitely need to heal though. Picking that guy up. Things all over the place here. Ouch! Okay, now we're healing. play a game and your aim is just terrible all the time my game my aim is just awful all of the time there's not a moment when my aim is good in any game i've ever played ever that's the way it feels there's a whole dorito down here yes please that's what we're calling this thing doritos little pink doritos I'll say it is a shame that Lane's not here yet. Hopefully, hopefully they'll pop in and they'll be like, wow, what game is this? It looks amazing. Okay, that, that, that's definitely a pathway. Okay, I'm missing something over here for sure. I'm not, I'm not leaving until I figure out what it is I'm missing. That's clearly a secret. There's there's absolutely no way that a room this massive with a whole area like this isn't just like It's hiding something. Maybe I have to come back here. Oh wait, I just scanned something. <laughs> I am not good enough. No, you are definitely good enough, believe me. I, I love seeing you in my chat. But I love everybody in my chat. There was one stream in particular, right before my internet went out, where I was pulling like 15 plus people, and that was, that was amazing. 
I have never been able to pull those numbers ever since. But one day, one day we'll get there. We'll have a whole 15 people in chat. All sitting here and laughing and playing games together. <laughs> Maybe once again. You shall return. I hope so. I will say it was it was a challenge having 15 people in chat. It was so I mean you know I like to respond and read every message that people send me, but when there's like 15 people all talking at once, that becomes rather tricky to to, to maintain that. But absolutely worth it. The whole secret over here, money. The whole teleport panel. Nice. I'm a fan of those. I do feel a little bad about like walking into a library like this and just destroying all the books. It's like. Look at how cool all the books in this area look. And I'm like, I'm just tearing them to shreds with my sword. Shouldn't pick that up. Yeah, like a gaming YouTuber that I've watched since middle school still streams and he has to make it to where he only subscribers could chat just to deal with so many people. Yeah, I feel like that's actually like, so I'm sure streams get to a point. I've talked about this before. But streams kind of do, I believe, get to a point where, like, okay, there's, a, there's a way to get down there. Where you play a game where, like, you, you start to pull an audience too large where you can't chat with everyone. And I'm sure there's, like, a huge part of people that, like, severely miss being able to only have, like, a close number of people to chat with. Like, that, 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 that has to be a thing, right? Also, okay, let me. Thank you. I knew I was missing something down here. All he's doing is calling people out. Oh, there's another secret. The whole temple tablet thing. We'll add that to my collection. Go down here, get more money. The money never stops. All he's doing, yeah. I mean, that's really the best that you can do. Once you start to pull that many, like, all oh, that many number of people, or you just gotta start returning, referring to chat as like one giant blob. You know, it's no longer just like, you can't pick out individuals anymore. You know, I can't have a conversation with, you know, my favorite viewer, Tim. It's like, all right, I gotta start like, you know, if I've got like everybody, I gotta start asking is like, hey chat, what do, what do you guys think of this thing? And then you look through it and kind of get like a general idea of what chat is talking about. And they're all crazy. <clears throat> or they're all just shouting out one stupid meme or whatever, I don't know. But hey, he's making like 50 to 100 per stream, so whatever. No, yeah, that, see that's another thing, right? In the end, like, if you're making, if you're, if you, you know, you can, you can turn things into whatever you need to turn it into. Oh, this is a whole last boss. Ah. Ah.
I tried my best to turn them off, but like, for whatever reason, Twitch just won't let me do it. I feel the same way, I really hate ads. Which like, again, like, you know, if, if a streamer doesn't want the monetary, like, um, like, if he doesn't want the money from the ads, he should be able to turn that kind of stuff off. But then Twitch still wants the money from the ads, so they still, like, have to play it. Yeah, that was some mad damage. For a lot. Yeah, I, I I feel that pain. I still get ads from time to time with all the stuff. All right, and so this this is this is the whole reason why I went north first was to pick up this guy. So this gives us the ability. This is so so this is where the the, the upgrades kind of start coming into play. You can change out the weapons that you get post bosses. It's kind of got a. Uh, how do you say Mega Man vibe to it in terms of like, oh, I want to change out my gun. So you need to change out your gun. Um, also, there's still totally a secret down there and I know it. And I hate the fact that I know it. So we, we got some exploration to finish up down here. But yeah, no, this gun is used very specifically for certain secrets. And almost every level, to my knowledge, has usage of this gun in order to unlock something. Every other gun in the game is not like this. Where it's not like a necessary thing to find things. This is the only one in the game. Which is why, again, I'm like, okay, I guess I'm gonna go get this one first. Oh, is that is that is this the secret I was looking for earlier? It might be. We're gonna pick up you, get some help. Definitely miss this area. Oh, we got a whole other credit. Anything else outside here that we can take a look at? Again, a very pretty game. Pretty world right there. You can see the edge of the continent. You can see the, the curvature of the earth that you live on. Or whatever planet this is. I don't I don't know if it's exactly Earth. But yeah, no. This is this is this is the big reason why this gun is good. So you'll notice that it points if I angle downwards, I can view very, very far downwards. Which allows me to find certain gaps that I wouldn't normally be able to see across. Stuff like that. Again, kind of a big deal. Gotta go back. Ouch. I don't want to respawn all the enemies in this room, especially. Not this room. Oh, well, definitely not this room either. But there's another room. Let's see, is there anything over here? There's not. Okay. Oh, there's a secret down here that I missed. No, I got that secret. Okay, good. Anything over in this direction? Apparently not. Actually, okay, wait, no, we already, okay, we already found the thing over there. Cool. It's this area. Um, Alright, just gonna take some damage here. Oh! One shot here. 
realize my BRB did not send. Yeah, I kind of noticed that my follower just my 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 one my one viewer just kind of disappeared. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Tim. I guess I'll see you on another stream, hopefully. Okay, it looks like there's nothing over here. There's definitely something down here. I don't know how to get there though. We'll pull one out. definitely something down here. Yeah, no. I'm a fan of the new weapon. It looks nice. Very nice. Also, I still want to do a Blast Ball stream. One day. I just... <laughs> Work has been so not okay with me getting days off lately. In terms of, like, the weekend. I've been working weekends non-stop since, uh... For, for a hot minute. I'm ready for, for my day off. But one day, one day we'll stream a nice good old fa finals and hopefully it's significant. They're on the siesta for at least a month. They're on a siesta for at least a month? Really? Okay. Well, we got some time then. feels weird but okay occasionally the camera will change in a certain way that like kind of catches me off guard like i'm not expecting the camera to go extend as far as it does which like makes me worried it's like oh no is there something over here that i missed i hope not Is there a reason why Blast Ball is on a siesta? Do you know? Or Blast Ball? I, I prefer the term Blast Ball, but you know. I prefer to pronounce it as Blast Ball. Even though that's probably not correct. Ah, just let off that edge. Alright, I think I found everything that I can find in this particular section. Um. Let's see, there's still a few more things that we can go and collect. Let's see, how many how, how many triangles do we have right now? We got, okay, so we got, it looks like eight out of the, or uh, six out of the eight. That gives us two more triangles to find. Have I been this way yet? I don't think I have. No, because I couldn't get this way. I still need another pair of triangles. I think they redesigned, they redesigned the game. The developers needed a break from 24/7 running the game, and general website improvements. Like they did not expect the game to get so big and it crashes a lot. Oh, okay, that makes, you know, that makes sense. I'm I'm gonna let them take that. They, they deserve a break. Has it really blown up that much? I feel like it hasn't. Like, I still feel like it's very culty. How the season runs too. Gotcha. I mean that makes sense. I will say we're like slowly hitting a <laughs> like enough to have its own Wikipedia page by now. I mean sure, but like I, I you know, I feel like so many things can have a Wikipedia page. no idea how the community is but it's so dedicated yeah okay that much i definitely believe all right so this is where okay so let, let, like this is where this gun is necessary you cannot hit these targets you cannot hit these switches unless you have something that's strong enough to hit I 
they're just too fast to walk. It's like just constant updating. I feel like it's just really blown up a lot recently. Like, we're clearly like getting pretty far into like the game. Like, the game has been going on for a while, given the fact that we're like in season 11 or whatever. Not to mention that you guys talked about it at least two years ago. I, I definitely remember the conversations involving the last ball from two years ago. So it's taken some time to blow up, but now we're ready. We have finally left the discipline area. No, no. Am I wrong about that? Oh, it started in March, really? Huh. I feel like it's been going on longer. Well, I mean, okay, so technically Blast Ball has always been going on, according to the lore. <laughs> Is delivery a post-COVID construction? Huh. Interesting. All right, so that's 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 our seventh Dorito. There's still one more hiding around here. Not sure. Oh wait, I do have an idea of where it could be. This year feels like many years. That is true. All right, where's our, where's my final Dorito at? Oh, it's all the way over here. Oh no! Don't tell me. Can I get it? I don't even know if I can get that Dorito. I don't think I can. Man. Oh wait, no wait, I totally can. Okay, never mind. Sorry, there's like a key door down there that's like you gotta you gotta do so much. <laughs> I love that you make money on the worst blast ball teams. I know, isn't it great? Dude, I win so much money from magic. <laughs> At least that's what I say. I, I'm not, okay, I think I probably still lose more money than I make. But like, I don't know. For whatever reason, Magic is like super aggressive. Like every time I watch them play, I like notice that their games just keep on like, the, the, like the first inning happens and they have four runs and I'm like, actually Magic. Oh my God, Wolves. Just eating away at my health bar, literally. I don't know. I think Yellowstone Magic and the Tacos got, like, pretty good chances in the near future of taking something big. I have high hopes for both of those teams. Although, my, my, my favorite team is still, um... My favorite team is still, like, is, uh, the Garages. The Tacos make me blink bank from their solo pitcher yeah they have two pitchers though okay i know that we just recently got the pitching machine on the uh like the pitching machine came back and i was excited about that <laughs> the garages made it to the championship last season i know go go garages all right we definitely got that secret cool I wonder what kind of changes that they're making to the game. I mean, I'm sure, like, when it comes to development, like, it's got to be a lot to, like, constantly put in new rule sets and stuff like that every week. Okay. Still feel like I'm missing things in places that I shouldn't be missing things. That's not a jump I can make. Is that not a secret? No. Oh, man, I totally missed money right there. I'd have been so sad if I missed that. I don't know how we did because the garages by their own admi by by their own admission is very con inconsistent. Really? I feel like they've been a pretty good team overall. 
despite the fact that they don't have a pitcher most of the time. Like, they had Jalen Hot Dog Fingers, but then they just kind of kept disappearing. Good, but not great. Yeah. They just lack the, the like, they just lack the players, I feel like. Is that a secret? No, I definitely enjoy Blast Ball, and it, it, it does kill time at work when I'm stuck at work for hours and hours. There's that moment again. Big old giant. Right. Finally made our way back to Walker. Finish our Dorito hunt. Sadly, we don't have enough keys yet. Be right back. Alright. down here we finished up the area so these doors go down which gives me an opportunity to go into here switch up our weapons this area sucks it's just totally dark and probably has secrets all over the place but you can't see anything darkness is the worst mechanic like just, just as a general note darkness is terrible i hate it Let's just make it so you can't see anything. That sounds like fun. Thanks, game. It's not like I wanted to see down here. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, these tiny little robots that aren't supposed to do that much damage are killing me. They're killing me, smalls. All these little small dudes. Oh, you know, and now it cursed me what this area is. So, like, okay, there was that whole, like, kind of, like, little episodic thing where, like, they're talking about, like, the eggs. This is the area where the eggs were. This is where the great fire happened and all the eggs died. There's a switch over here. Hopefully that turns on the lights. Ah! Time for another heal. It just occurred to me what all these like little robots remind me of. All of them remind me of the bowler, bowler cap dude from Meet the Robinsons. Like that little evil robot that the bowler, like the little bowler cap. That's what they are. They're just like little bowler cap robots. From Meet the Robinsons. Amazing. Okay. Great terrible at this game where's it gonna put me is it back at the beginning no that's not okay <laughs> ah! okay that's fair i didn't know about those i should have known about those i did in fact just walk into a death trap I'm gonna die right here. Man, I was re-watching some of the, the old Monty Python stuff. God, is it good. I feel like I, I didn't quite get to quite finish my movie the other day. Cause I got I had to go to work. I'm definitely going to finish it tonight. 
I remember having this conversation with uh, one of my old girlfriends. And I, we, I was talking about Monty Python, and she was like, man, my dad loves those movies, but I swear, like... It's just a movie meant for boys, and I'm like, that can't be right. There's no way. It's hilarious. Like, it's crap. It's, it's like, some moments of it are very, very crass, but it's like the kind of crassness that... It, it's like... Oh, what the hell? Please don't tell me that there's a secret in here. Why is it so dark and I can go in here? That makes me so worried. No, game. Don't do that to me. But yeah, no. I feel like, uh... I, I was watching some of it, and I'm like, wow. A lot of these jokes as a kid totally went over my head. Like, there's this whole bit about, um... I was watching the Holy, or the Holy Grail. And there's the help, help, I'm being repressed moment. Which is hilarious. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay, good. I'm paranoid. Welcome back. Sorry, I'm just talking about Monty Python to myself. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a streamer, you know. Somebody might pop in here, and then, you know, all of a sudden I'm here, like, not talking and just playing the game, and then they have to feel like they have to say hi, and it makes them feel awkward, it makes me feel, you know, just talking, you know. But yeah, no, I was, I was just mentioning how, um... I remember talking to my, uh, one of my, like, my ex-girlfriend. Or my girlfriend at the time, I guess I should say. About Monty Python. And she was telling me how, it's like, no, that's really just a movie meant for boys. And I'm like, I can't, I can't agree with that. Like, yes, the humor can be crass sometimes, because, you know, it's Monty Python. But, like, and it's, a, it is kind of absurd, but there's no way, like... Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, exactly. That that's that that's how I felt in this exact same conversation. Your mom introduced me to that film. See, and there you go. I mean, yes, it was my dad that introduced me to those films, but I think it's just because my dad is the weird like I I think it's just a movie meant for weird people. Or it's a style of movie meant for weird people. And I'm all for that. My first introduction to it was back in middle school. Um, I had this teacher who was the drama teacher. Weirder drunk people. Okay, this area still really bothers me. Not drunk weird people. I don't know, I think I myself can enjoy it while drunk. I'm, I, I, apparently, I'm a pretty weird dude, so. In a good way, I hope, but you know, still weird. All right, I think that's all I can get out of this area. Yeah, I got the money here. God, I hate this area. Again, darkness, what a, what a bad mechanic. <laughs> yes, you are, and that is why I'm here. Good, I'm glad. One of my coworkers, like I, you know, I just try and be my. I've been working hard to be as myself, like as much myself as I possibly can, because you know sometimes you you lower your level of weirdness or whatever down for for the for the masses to consume. <laughs> Darkness and water levels, yeah, no, that's exactly what that is. That's a hundred percent a dark level thing. Alright, there's one more area that we can go to now. Actually, we can just teleport there. Um, I don't have to walk all the way back up the mountain. <coughs> but yeah, so... Now, I've been trying my best to kind of just maintain my maximum level of weirdness. As often as I can. You know. Let my sense of humor come out as much as I can. Which, you know, for some people is a lot. That's okay. Mostly it just consists of, like, really... Okay, I think I, I, I've, told, I've said this before, but my sense of humor has devolved into just giving people really bad ideas in line. For instance, 
Um, I was making. We were we were talking about how when we're serving ice cream to like kids, they like keep on reaching down and like putting their hands on the glass and like faces to everyone. I was like, okay, okay. We we were like it'd be nice to create a sign that was like, please don't like you know touch the glass like you know stay safe you know something like that. <laughs> And my coworker's like, what can we put on a sign like that? Like, I'm not exactly sure what we would do for something like that. Also, there's totally a thing here. Okay, cool. And my, my, my mind was like, okay, so we create this sign, right? We paint the cabinet on, like, like we create the sign and it has a picture of the cabinet. You know, where, where we keep all the ice cream. And in front of the cabinet is just like tons and tons of mutilated bodies of dead children. And it just says, don't touch the cabinet. And she's like... You know, about halfway through that sentence, it was just like, no, absolutely not. Terrible idea. <laughs> we cannot do that. Don't do that. No, I know, I know. Again, again, just, just feeding people terrible ideas. That's what my sense of humor is like these days. But that would work. I don't know, I'm all for terrorizing the children. I believe that the children of our of this era are strong enough to handle, you know, something like that. All oh, the platforms are here. What a classic trope. I hope it's super graphic. Well, we did do something earlier, which is um, we had like this giant curtain up because people were like working on fixing this one particular area of the uh, store. We had like a pipe burst and so they had to like tear up some tile and all this stuff and we had a giant curtain up to keep like dust from the repair to like getting all over the store. And what we did is like we, we rather than like doing a whole you know whatever with it we just kind of went ahead and like so so like by the cabinet we were like please do not enter but like instead of just making like a regular do not enter sign it was like biocontainment like chamber or whatever like that we covered it in like or like alien whatever and we just covered it in like food dye red food dye and it looked just like blood and it was perfect i feel like that's a strongly definitive or derivative sense of humor from your dad constantly fucking with people yeah no probably i find myself becoming more and more like my dad which, you know, I like my dad, so, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just the way it is. Oh. Ouch! But no, that's definitely what it is. You've met my dad, so you know how they're like. How they, how they are. I feel like there's something more about this place. Makes me nervous. I've already been this way. <laughs> you learned way too late that he just likes messing with people. Yeah, basically. I mean, to be fair, I, I'm definitely his son in that regard. I absolutely love just saying weird and bizarre things. Also, your comment about me just having like the driest sense of humor has resided with me through, throughout the throughout the years, and it will continue to reside with me throughout the decades. And I'm gonna specifically wait ten years so that way I can say that. It'll be the year. What, what, what year is it gonna have to be? Like, it's gonna have to be 2028. And then I will say, I, I can say that. A friend of mine once told me that I have the driest sense of humor and it has stuck with me throughout the decades. It'll be great. It'll be a great way to like just frame that whole whole conversation. I don't know. I can't wait till I get to the point where I can actually use the word decades like in a real sense. I mean, I love how you 
how your texting always ends with periods, so it sounds like you're definitive, even if you're just saying, like, fucking nonsense. How else do people text? Do they not use periods? Am I wrong? <laughs> I like periods. Not wrong, but definitively unique. I feel like maybe maybe I'm just not that observant to other people's text messages. I just assumed everybody else used periods. Like I did, but. Alright, did I hit them at all? Oh, I guess I did. Secrets. I knew it. I was like, there's no way a room this giant and empty doesn't have something else in it. Was that it? Well, that's disappointing. I was expecting more out of this giant room that has nothing in it. Also, I don't remember where the platform started at. Here? Okay, cool. those squares. I would like to keep those squares, but I guess I don't get to do that. Oh, I feel like, okay, I definitely screwed that up. rough room. There's just so many projectiles. So many projectiles, so many enemies that just fly at you. I can see why they loaded up the previous area with 12 packs for you. It's like, eh, yeah, he's gonna be struggling. <laughs> guys gives a whole another credit man that's a lot of abilities that we get now there is quite a few unlocks in this game in case you couldn't tell there's just like tons of them all over the place i'm currently watching my friend stream while studying chinese was that supposed to be sent to me <laughs> life is good at this moment that's cool how, how's the Chinese studies going? I didn't know that you were learning. Alright, I think that's everything in this area that I can currently cover, with the exception of one key door. That just requires so many thingies that I have absolutely no chance of accessing it right now. Hard as fuck, but very satisfying. The tones kick my ass. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot it was a tonal language. Because like the the, the uh, inflict like the inflection that you have when you say certain words change the way that um change what word they are, right? Is that how it works? Oh, look at this guy. He's just jamming, playing his guitar. Got two of the keys for that area. And go here. And go there. This is this is where this is the area that you can go to if you get all of the keys. Or actually only okay, not not all the keys. But quite a few of them. But travel. I came here and I got my ass kicked. Now he's a drunkard. How sad. One word can mean four different things with different tones and context. Right. That, that's, I mean, to be fair, we have the same thing in English in many different ways. How things are pronounced the same way, but they're like slightly different and all that stuff. Okay, these cost two each. So we can get upwards of five extra health, like, you know, two extra spots for um, health things. Which is very handy. However, I think what we want right now, given the area that we're going to, because I, you know, I've played this game before, I have an idea of what it is that... We definitely want one of these... Perfect. Now we can uh, deflect bullets. This is this is a very important skill to have. And then we should go here and get a couple of abilities. Specifically, the ability to dash through projectiles will be super handy. And then specifically the ability to do this because I love this move. It's just so cool. Like like you just do it and it's like boom. You... Like we use tones in English, just add inflection to meaning. Like raising the pitch at the end of a sentence indicates indecisiveness or a question. Right, but it's in, it, rather than being like a different way of phrasing, like they just use it in another way to indicate a word. Right, that's okay. Yeah. From what I've understood of Mandarin, that that's that's what I've understood of uh, Mandarin. We're gonna give this one good attempt while we're here in the city. The downside to doing this is like, do you know how much time this takes to get to 700 dashes? It's a lot of time. And I actually think that they decreased the number. Like, I think it used to be like 1,000 dashes that you had to do. And the developers are like, what the fuck were we thinking? And so they just cut off 300 of them. It's like five minutes probably. Yeah, exactly. But with the number of attempts that you get for it, like, your timing's off. Like, my timing was off there. I was just a little too slow, and then I lost it. And to be fair, it's a pretty big window. But, like, you know, in music, how you can, like, rapidly end up, like, speeding up tempo. Right? This is the exact same thing. You can you can end up just accidentally speeding up a little bit too much. There we go. It, it's 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 really tricky. And I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Half time, bro. I know. Alright, so let's see. I think we've used up most of our thingies to get thingies. Let me go ahead and check something real quick. If I got friends, I don't. Okay, cool. <laughs> wow, that was horribly phrased. Um, let's see. So the next area that we can open up, in theory, I don't expect singers to be too careful of maintaining tempo. That is absolutely fair. We are not good at it. Um, I would like to open up this side path, which would mean that the next area that we want to go and explore is to the left. First, let's go into the house. I'm curious if I've done anything cool. The answer is no, I have not. Okay, cool. Do singers usually rush or drag? They do both. Um, so, so the thing with sinking in particular is that 
it goes both ways. Um, I tend to speed up more than drag. Mostly because, like, I'm trying to get to the end of a phrase quicker. And in the end, I end up rushing. Um, but there's, like, a number of... There's a number of things that singers will do. Um, like, some songs aren't supposed to be set in this very particular tempo, for instance. Um, and so what will end up happening is they'll end up, like... You want a bit of push and pull as you sing the song, if that makes sense. Because you want to elongate a high note or something like that, and then like, da 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 da, and you 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 slow down just a little bit, and then you go back into tempo or whatever. Like that, that's just kind of the way it works. Um, it's all about the emotion of it. But beyond that, I would say we we tend to do both. It really depends on what kind of singing that we're doing. Uh, I... Oh, what the... Okay, 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 okay. There we go. I was like, how did I get here? Why am I stuck? No, actually, okay. I think we should, we should, we should stick to doing one area a day. That's my thought. And since we got our one area done for today, we got the entire north side covered, to my knowledge, with the exception of one area that we can't quite go to because we don't have enough keys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and call it an end to this particular portion of the stream. The next. So I'm gonna switch over to another game of mine. Hopefully here in a minute. Let me just. Oh. Hi. Is this Augie? No. Okay. Sorry. Um. You mind? He left actually. Oh, I see. Who am I talking to then? Is this no. Noah? This is Augie. Okay good i hope so yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right what are we doing now what year is it what the fuck uh it's 2020 we're gonna go ahead and change games that we're playing right now this is, this is the end of hyperlight drifter for tonight we're definitely gonna do more of this i'm probably gonna stream it tomorrow if i can because it's just such a cool game but for now we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and are you playing apex right now uh should be i think cameron is eating something right now or something like that, but he should be on within the next...